What's going on, Sagittarius? My name is Vince. This is 7D Tarot. Sagittarius, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned till the end of your reading, where I will pull a final message from the universe and your affirmation for today. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on for you. Major celebration is about to take place, but the only reason it hasn't happened yet is because there is a energy block that has to get cleared first. Clear this energy and then the celebration will take place. But right now you got to understand that in order for you to be gifted some sort of opportunity, miracle, something you waited for for quite some time, you've manifested this, this energy block has to go. This energy block is something that is causing resistance everywhere. So the universe cannot make you clear this energy, but if you clear this energy, then the universe can gift you this, this desire. And I'll show you how to do that. Right now you got to understand that when you resist love, you resist money. When you resist money, you resist health. It's all entangled, right? How you do anything is how you do everything. So it's like, if you go to work and you're having a really bad day at work, you're going to come home and the, your frequency is not going to be the best when it comes to your spouse, things like that. And the same thing with money, right? Like if you're having a hard time at home, then your work life's not going to be good. Source is telling you there's a major energy block that has to get cleared here. This energy block has been here for quite some time and it's really causing confusion. Now, Source is telling you that the moment this energy block is cleared, I see major financial opportunities, right? I see synchronicities about to take place. And the universe is telling you to look for synchronicities rather than coincidences. And what does that really mean right now? Look for angel numbers, 111, 333, 444, right? This is how you are going to know that this is the opportunity you're supposed to take. This is the brilliant idea, the aha moment of clarity. Also, look for feathers on the ground. Look for anything, advertisements, anything that have a message to your answer to your message. And I'll give you an example, answer to your question. Imagine you're telling yourself, I want to create wealth um, and should I stay at my job or not? The universe is trying to give you an idea or bring a new opportunity of a job to you, but it's having a hard time doing so because your frequency is, is in this lower dimensional energy of an energy block. So first and foremost, the first step is to clear the energy now, and you do that by understanding now is your lucky time. So source is telling you, bring your awareness to the present moment. Let go of the familiar past and let go of the predictable future. First step to clear this energy is focus on the now, focus right now. For example, your point of attraction is in the now. When you're having a conversation, your focus is in the now. Anytime you had a good time in your life, you were present. Source is telling you, stop thinking of the familiar past, stop thinking of a predictable future, come home to the present, tell yourself what is happening right now and what do I have control over? The only thing you have control over every single time you'll notice is your uh, thoughts your awareness, your feelings, your reactions, your opinions, right? This is what you have control over. You don't control someone, you know, being nice to you. You don't control whether you're getting a promotion. You don't control whether your soulmate comes today or tomorrow. What you have control over is everything I just mentioned. Those things determine when these other things happen quickly. So right now, Source is telling you, own your reactions, control your destiny, and conquer yourself, conquer the world. That's it. Conquer yourself, conquer the world. So easy. So right now, your number one thing you should focus on is your reactions, right? Because your reactions are how you feel towards things. I'll give an example right now. If you want to get rich, control your reactions. If you want to be successful, if you want to meet your soulmate, control your reactions. Now, anytime something happens in life, we all react. For example, I'm driving, someone cuts me off in the car. You will react. Now, how you react determines whether or not you're telling the universe, I am ready for more or keep me here. For example, if someone cuts me off and I get mad, oh, I'm so mad at them, right? You're telling the universe I'm caught up in the chaos, stimulation, fear, energy, the third dimension. The universe is like, okay, Vince needs more time. But if someone cuts me off and I'm like, you know what? I'm so grateful they didn't hit my car. I'm so grateful that we didn't have an accident. You're telling the universe, universe, I know how to play this game. Bring me more opportunities. Ding, ding, ding. I get a promotion at work or I meet my soulmate. This is how it works. So source is telling you right now, control your reactions. Because I do see here, us empaths, right? We're always people pleasing. And I see here that you're agreeing with people, people pleasing, but you're do, you're participating in judgment, comparison, and, and, uh, um, and, uh, Really, judgment in comparison alone is enough. But right now, source is telling you, like for example, 
You go to work, you see your coworker. Your coworker comes up to you and they say, oh, did you hear Jill did this? Now, because you want to make them happy, you partake. You're like, oh yeah, Jill, blah, blah, blah. Now ask yourself, did that just help you in your life, right? Or did that lower your frequency? Now, how could you change that? You could divert the energy. So when they say, did you hear Jill did this? You could be like, hey, so how's your weekend? You see how easy that was? How's your weekend? How are the kids? Boom, done. They don't even know you diverted the energy, but you did. You didn't partake in shenanigans. Like one of my laws in life is like, if I am not getting paid, if I am not having my love life improve or bringing a smile to my face, I have no opinion. I'm not gonna hand out opinions for geopolitical events and stuff. I don't give a nothing. I don't have control over it, right? So don't focus on it. Now, the universe is also telling you, be generous of spirit. This is asking you to speak and command that your angels and guides help you more because of free will. The universe cannot intervene in your life unless you welcome them. This is something no one really knows, right? Everyone thinks the universe is just going to jump in and save us. No, the universe is waiting for you to ask for help. This is your life, right? So imagine I'm standing there. You are, you know, holding all the groceries. Now you take a look at me and you're like, well, it would have been nice if Vince would have helped gave, gave, ask me for some help. That rule applies, you know, for us humans, but the universe cannot help you unless you're like, hey, universe, do you mind grabbing some of these bags? I appreciate it, thank you. Universe goes, oh, I thought you'd never ask. That's the thing, the universe is like, ask us for help. Nothing would make us happier. Command it, universe, I command I meet my soulmate. Angels and guides, I command that I get rich, right? Ask your angels and guides for help and then they'll be able to help you. Now, you also have the three of pentacles and the magician. Man, you are so close to something very big happening. Right now, Source is telling you to find strength and simplicity because then you will strive for progress and not perfection. That perfection is you holding on and you got to let go of what you can't control. So the universe wants you to A, live with intention and first off, make sure that you find strength and simplicity. Why is that important? Us humans, we overcomplicate things and we cause resistance. That resists what resists persists. So right now, I'll give you an example. Imagine you have a diet, you're eating your food, you don't feel good. Matter of fact, you're gaining weight and um, you're bloated. Now, you look at the same person on social media that's eating the same food and they are looking healthy. So you're comparing yourself. Why is it working for them, not working for you? Make it simple. Look at your plate, for example, simplicity. What are you eating? You're, you probably got some broccoli, rice, and some chicken, right? So you're like, oh, I don't know why it's not working. It's healthy. Yeah, but you know what? Sacrifice a meal and only just eat one of those things. Like, for example, grab the broccoli, grab a bunch, put it on a plate. For your next meal, just eat the broccoli. Put some salt on it. Eat it. That's it. Don't worry about the taste. Just trust me on this. Eat it. Then be like, in 30 minutes, ask yourself, did it digest? Did I get energy? Did I like it? Did I like the taste? Did I not? Did I... Um, yeah, uh, did it bloat me, right? You will know if it's a culprit. Next next meal, just eat the chicken. And then ask yourself, how'd this make me feel? You'll probably be like, whoa, this thing is all digestion. God, ah, gotcha, no wonder I'm sleepy. Next, after that, eat the rice. You'll be like, oh man, you know, it's, it's just it's not really satiating. I could eat endless amounts. Now you know how to portion control, right? Now you're like, okay, more of this, less of this. Boom, so simple. But it all starts from you taking control, right? And you making life simple. All right, speaking of simple sads, let us get to your affirmation for today and bring money into your life and love into your life. Right now, I want you to write down the following affirmation in the comment section. Affirmation literally means effortless attention. Easiest way to clear any energy blocks and bring abundance. Write the following words and really feel these words as you write them. That's how you ignite them. That's how you give them power. Write down in the comment section right now, love is my superpower. That's it. Love is my superpower. By writing this down, you're letting the universe know I'm ready and love is truly your superpower. You gotta understand, love is light. Light is the most powerful thing. You are light ray, for example. When you go into a dark room, you light a little baby match, the darkness flees from that light. This is to show you how a little bit of light is so powerful. Light and love are the same thing. You are light ray, you have to know your superpower. Love is my superpower. Write that down in the comment section, let the universe know you're ready. Now speaking of the universe, final message from the universe, Dear spirit, bring a gentle touch. Universe is telling you right now, be very, very kind to yourself and make sure that you watch your words wisely, right? And what that really means is be kind to yourself. I am power uh, affirmations in the morning. Look in the mirror, be like, I am confident. I am sexy. I am funny. I am patient. I am the world's best wife. I am the world's best daughter. I am the world's best husband. I am powerful. I am someone who is, you know, uh, uh, loved. I am approachable. I am likable. Do you see all oh, that sounded good, right? Because it's in alignment with you. You are those things, right? But you have to cast a spell. When you say it out loud, it is so. You're telling the universe, this is a fact. The universe goes, done, I'm not gonna fact check that. If you think it is, it is. 
So I am in the morning. We bring that gentle touch to your spirit. You got this. All right, Sag, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.